I have some current makeup favorites to share with you guys today and I also want to say thank you for all the well wishes that I received on my my eyeball. It's a lot better <laughs> than it was a couple like a week ago when I filmed that video. It's just kind of red around the cornea now. I'm actually wearing quite a few of the products that I'm going to talk about in this video on my face right now because I've just been wearing them a lot, hence their favorites. <laughs> I'll start off with this mascara. It's by CoverGirl. It's called the Super Sizer. This is the Star Wars packaging. This is probably my fourth tube of this mascara, and I know I've mentioned it before, but in the interim, I've tried several other mascaras, both samples and kind of full-size ones, and I just keep going back to this. I don't think, like, I'm having a hard time finding a, ma a mascara that is better than this. I get mine in very black, and it gives my eyelashes... Um, great volume and length and it does not flake or smudge on me which is another thing that I really like about it because I do have a lot of um, what's the most recent one I tried the newest Charlotte Tilbury I think it's called legendary lashes it came with her um, look in a palette a sample size one did and <laughs> when I got in from outside that day I I had coon eyes man <laughs> I was definitely wishing for the Super Sizer that day. <laughs> this next product I haven't even hauled yet. Um, it's fairly new, but I've had it for about two weeks and I can't stop using it. It's, it's one of the best brow products that I've tried for quite some time. It's the All-in-One Brow 3D by Dior. And the shade that I have is 002 Blonde. It does come in, I believe, two different shades. The other one is darker than this one. But inside of here, you've got two, oh, I'm going to spill these. You've got two little angled brushes and then also a spoolie. You've got a brow wax and then you have got your two brow powders right here. And each one of these is 0.1 ounces a piece. So you're getting a total of 0.2 ounces of powder product in here, which is pushing seven times the amount of product that you get in an Anastasia Brow Duo, those are 0 0.03 ounces of product, so you're getting so much more product in this Dior one as opposed to the Anastasia one, which, and the reason why I mentioned that one is because this is the one that I have been using consistently before I got the Dior, and this is probably my fourth pot of this. I feel like when I, I do like the powder, but I always feel like the tone of it, you can kind of see when I'm comparing them next to each other, this has kind of got a tint of green compared to the, to the Dior one, where I feel like the Dior is very neutral. I don't feel like it's too warm or too cool. But also, when I put my brush in the Dior powders, like I don't have to worry about picking up too much product. I can pick up just, just enough product and build it up. It's re The consistency of the actual powders is so nice. Whereas the Anastasia one, I put my brush in there and not only does product kind of, you know, poof out, which is slightly wasteful, but I get quite a bit of product on my brush when I go into the Anastasia. I still like this one, but um, I love this one. <laughs> and how cute are the little angled brow brushes? And there's two of them and a little spoolie and a wax. I do use the wax, wax sometimes as well. I use the lighter one in the front of the brow and then the darker one towards the back. And I just, I love these um, powders for my brows. I just noticed I have like three products from Dior in my favorites. This next one I did just haul, but it's another product that I just can't stop wearing. It's the Dior Show Mono Eyeshadow in 658 Cosmopolite. I think, did I just haul this in my last video? I think I did. This is like Tom Ford's Platinum in a pressed powder form, but it, I think it's prettier. I think it's prettier than Tom Ford Platinum, and I love Tom Ford Platinum. Um, it has really tiny silver micro shimmers in it, and this is what I have got packed on my lid today, and I've worn this just so many times since I've gotten it. I really, really love it. The finish is just, like, amazing. So that is Cosmopoly, and I purchased this one. I believe I got it off of the Nordstrom website, as well as the brow products. And then sticking with Dior here, this is an oldie but a goodie and I kind of just rediscovered it in my collection. Um, I used to wear this a ton and then it kind of got a little bit further back in the drawer and I recently pulled it out again. This is the Dior Rosy Glow in 001 Petal. I believe this only comes in one shade, their rosy like glow blush. And it's supposed to be universally flattering on several different skin tones. It's kind of supposed to adjust to your skin tone to give you your perfect pink shade, but on me, it's just the prettiest angelic type of pink and it's really pigmented. So I, I believe if you do have deeper skin tones, you can really build it up and get that really pretty angelic type of pink. But I just love this and I've loved it for quite a while. It it It's basically a like matte blush, but on the cheeks, it literally looks like the prettiest rosy glow. And I've been wearing it quite a bit recently and just love it. 
And then the blush that I'm wearing today is kind of similar to the DR one. It's the matte blush powder by Makeup Revolution and it's in the shade Divine. This is also a light baby pink matte blush. Um, again, it's what I have on and I've been wearing this a ton too. This, the texture of these blushes, I think that I have all of them in the range. They're like only $4 on top of that. Um, they're so silky smooth. So, ooh. I would say that the Dior one is a little bit cooler and toned with a little bit more purple to it, but um, there's a sort of a cheaper alternative. But in addition to the Dior, because I do feel like the Dior gives a little bit more of a, um, a glow and a little bit more of a cooler pink on my cheek than this one. This one kind of, when I put it on, it's a little, it warms up a little bit on my skin as opposed to the Dior one. So I've kind of been using... Um, both of these back and forth. This next product is also by Revolution. It's the Vivid Baked Bronzer and I'm not seeing like a shade name on here but this is what it looks like and it is a baked product. It's what I have on my face today to warm it up and like it kind of looks like an ordinary baked bronzer but when I put it on my skin it really pulled out some redness like a, a sun-kissed sunburnt almost bronzy look to it which I love that on my skin tone and it blends really well it has a nice glow to it. it doesn't like make me look greasy or oily or anything but it does give my skin a slight sheen but I really love the tone of it it's got that again that just out of the sun type of a bronze feel to it which is something that I like in a bronzer so that's what it looks like I thought originally when I looked at it in the pan it was gonna pull like orange on me or something but it on my face it just like pulls out some redness to it so I've been wearing this quite a bit for my bronzer this next product is also kind of a old-school product I've been through two tubes of this back when it came in the uh, silver cylinder type packaging this is the Smashbox B legendary lipstick in the shade pout and the the lipstick is quite creamy and soft, so like my bullet always seems to like bend and then it gets it gets funky like this. But so I when I put it on, I always just put a little bit out like that so it doesn't completely break off. But I've been loving to wear it with the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the shade Pillow Talk, which is pretty much like a holy grail lip liner for me. I line my lips with the Pillow Talk and then I put on the pout on and really work it into that lip liner so that it's not so um, prominent. The shade of lipstick is like being able to wear a, a like a Barbie pink lipstick without being too in your face and the, the formula is also really glossy and comfortable to wear on the lips. So I just want to put some more on. <laughs> it's just a really pretty color and I kind of rediscovered it because I used to love wearing this. I used to wear this constantly and now I'm wearing it constantly again. So that's the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Pout. Next up is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Pink. Um, this here, I've worn this by itself and liked how it brightened up my under eyes, but I also really enjoy mixing it with other concealers that I have the, where I like the formulas, but I wish the tone of them was a little bit lighter and also a little bit more pink. This this corrects a lot of the concealers that I have. And another thing is when I mix the Urban Decay with the Make It Forever HD, um, I tend to get a lot less creasing with it. If I use this by itself, I love the finish of it. It's so thin, you can hardly detect product on your skin when you use this, but I really have a, ten it, it has a tendency to crease and creep up in my little um, eye rolls. And this HD um, Urban Decay one really helps it not do that. And I have tried the original Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer as well, and I felt like that the formula on that is a little bit um, it's thicker and it doesn't blend quite as well as the formula on this, the correcting fluid. So this here, I use it almost every single day, whether I'm mixing it in with a, a Lancome concealer or a Bobbi Brown concealer or something. It just adds a bit of brightness and more pinkness to a lot of my concealers and I love it. So let me give you a swatch of it. Really love this one. 
These next products are by Jeffree Star and they're the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I've been loving these for eyeliner. Um, today I've got on the shade Weirdo and then you've got the brown which is Dominatrix. I probably use Dominatrix the least and then I do use Abused quite a bit which is like a, a purpley deep blue black and bluish purple <laughs> but blueberry shade. <laughs> um, but I do feel like the Weirdo shade the consistency is a little bit thinner but still really opaque and these ones have like a slightly more moussey feel to them um not too big of a difference but i do like the how this one right here is a little bit more fluid than these two so i tend to use this one quite a bit i do use the um abuse shade a lot too so it's just a black and there is a well in there too which fits a brush nicely so that's weirdo here is abused which i do i wear that one a ton as well and then here is Dominatrix, which you can almost see a little bit of the moosiness on that one. So, I just love these for liner. They're great. And then I've got some eyeshadows, and these are the new Viseart Theory palettes, and I took mine out because the little pots just pull right out of their original packaging. And I put all three of my Theory palettes in this, I think this is a medium-sized Z palette. So you've got, these two rows are Minx, then you have got cashmere and then here is chroma and I'm wearing a compilation I think I've got these two and these two on the crease upwards on my eyelid today and these this has kind of become my go-to like neutral eyeshadow palette it's got the perfect mattes the perfect shimmers in warm cool neutrally grays smokies there's just so much versatility that i can do with a neutral eye i just love these eyeshadows i love Vizart eyeshadows in general and i love the new theory palette i did do a video on this if you guys want to see all the swatches of each one and kind of a breakdown um i'll link that in the description down below but let me give you a couple swatches at least they just they're just effortless type of eyeshadows, something that I can just reach for and count on every time that I use them. So that is those guys. Last up is a fragrance, and I'm really, really excited about this. I've started wearing this again like no other because um, Kat Von D is bringing it back. And I saw that she posted on Instagram the bottle of the new Sinner and Saint, which are, she had a long time ago. And Saint is one of my all-time favorite perfumes, if not my favorite. I've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of this. You can see that this bottle's like <laughs> down to there. I've really been wearing it recently because she's coming out with it again. And the new bottle looks very like Renaissance. This bottle's super cool, in my opinion, as well. But um, the fragrance is really sweet, but there's something... There's something about this that's really, really unique to me, and I just love it. I'm not the greatest at describing fragrances, which is probably why I haven't done a fragrance collection video yet. I know you guys have been asking for that, and also the makeup collection video. As soon as I get the time, <laughs> I'm going to start working on that collection video. But um, I, I know you guys wanted to see a fragrance video too, and I, I do want to film them. I just need to get a little bit better with my descriptions of fragrance because I don't feel like I'm the best at it but I would say this has got some type of uh, vanilla sweet um, smell to it with a bit of a bite I don't know there's something really unique about this and I love it I, I love that I can just wear it non-stop again because it's coming out again soon so those are some of the current products that I've just been loving like products that I just can't stop wearing <laughs> um it i'm like i feel like i'm melting with these lights because it's so nice outside another reason why i've been kind of um you know there's the eye thing but i've been also kind of lacking on videos is because the weather has been really really nice and when the weather's nice nice in north dakota you have to take advantage of it because <laughs> you never know what the next day is gonna bring but just riding horses planting gardens planting trees like working with colts just a, like there's just a million things to do <laughs> so i'm actually going to head out the door as soon as i'm done filming this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful uh, thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and i'll see you guys later bye